We, we so often sit down for supper and have our, have our meal uh, disturbed by uh, the bell going and finding that there's somebody in the water. Um, and uh, it's our job and, and, our, and our real um, privilege to go out and, and to help those people. And it would be wonderful if people could support us by holding a fish supper with their friends um, and, uh, and raise money to help us continue to do that. I'm here at the Tower Lifeboat Station in London for the launch of the RNLI Fish Supper Weekend. This is where celebrity chef Mark Hicks will be cooking a four-course meal for the crew members of this station. It's part of a awareness raising to raise money for the RNLI um, and also to highlight the fact that around the coast, like so many people um, who give their time to the RNLI have their family dinners interrupted um, on a regular basis to go out and save lives. The evening was inspired by the white bait suppers that used to be popular 200 years ago. People ranging from cabinet ministers to Charles Dickens would attend these suppers in secret to discuss important matters such as politics. Tonight's supper is uh, in celebration of the old-fashioned Thames white bait suppers, which used to go on, you know, back in the 1800s really, when there was plenty of fish actually all the way up the Thames, and some of the fish would have been fairly small fish, not big stuff, so things like white bait, and a lot of ministers and politicians would attend these white bait suppers. Sadly, they sort of died out really, with, I suppose, industry fish stopped coming up the Thames, and the white bait suppers, I suppose, really, they sort of just died out. Whilst experiencing the white bait supper being prepared, there was never a dull moment, as the life crew members received a call and were out to save a life within a matter of seconds. First in the water. Today we were called to a, a gentleman who'd um, found himself in the water. He was obviously very distressed, very shocked. He'd, he'd clearly hurt his ankle. We brought him back to the lifeboat station. The ambulance crew uh, met us and we're, we're quite used to working with the other emergency services to get people off to the right place. It doesn't happen today, but I think it's a good thing to do. Dinners like this in memory, those old white bait suppers. I think there's a, there's a really important thing about being aware that um, the RNLI is here and we want to raise that awareness. Um, so we really encourage everyone to, to have a fish supper this weekend, invite your friends and family over um, and get them to donate or sponsor you for doing a fish supper. Um, and think about the crews around the country who are quite often called out and have their meals disrupted, have their family lives disrupted, um, but help to donate so that we can continue to do that work and, and save lives on the sea.